What's up everyone, this is Stacko Cakes, and I'm back with another Pez 2017 video. This is a video about how to get started with my club. I've had about three questions in the last couple days here, basically from people saying, you know what, I have X amount of GP, or I just started, and I have no idea what, what I'm doing with my club. So, I've been writing out these long responses to this question, and it, it kind of doesn't really make sense. And uh, the answer to how to use my club is very long. So I just figured, you know what? I'm just going to make a video for these people. If you guys are playing Pez, then you probably know all this information. But this is just a video for those people that are starting Pez and they have no idea what they are doing because when they get into the main screen here, it's like a, it's a lot of stuff to take in your first time when you have no idea what you're doing. Uh, I've been playing now for three years. Uh, this year has some new changes, so we'll get to those soon. But uh, yeah, let's, let's just start with the main screens here. On these screens right here, we've got divisions in the top left. That's just the online playing against other people. You beat them to move up to the next division. Stuff like that. Nothing crazy. This is the Sims. You can make a team and you can play against the computer basically. And the computer controls everything and you just kind of watch the game and like make subs and stuff if you want. Uh, versus the computer is the basic challenges they have every week. They have like new stuff added every day or every week. Sorry, let's see. Whoa, let's back out of that. The one at the top right that I just clicked is the one where you just play the computer and it's not a tournament or anything. It's just you play the computer and it's a certain difficulty and that's it. This versus computer challenge cup is the different cups you can play. This is what I use to farm basically. Uh, you can see they have like the master's cup here, intermediate, novice. So they, these are all based on difficulty obviously. Uh, the master's cup see how many games it is you have to win five matches and you have to have team strength 1800 or higher to get in so I'll show you that what team strength is in a second I'll show you the rewards you get 20,000 GP your first time you beat this and then every time after that is 7500 masters challenge like starts out with like a couple easy games and then it gets harder and harder and then the last game is against uh, superstar or top player. I think I think it's top player is the hardest one. But uh, or maybe it's superstar. I don't know. It's one of those two. But it's, just, it's the the highest difficulty is basically a, a rigged game, <laughs> basically. But uh, so what what I also recommend doing here is uh, this 25G challenge. This is a under 25 game challenge. So if you guys are starting and you want to get some extra bonus GP. Do the do this if you have under 25 games played. You do this one. If you have 26 to 50 games played, do this one to get the extra GP. Uh, I didn't know about this because I was just playing the game, and uh, there's lots of things in here that are not explained by Konami, so I had no idea what 25G challenge was. So I blew through like 100 something games, and then I found out. Oh, you know what? They have this 25 game challenge. Blah blah blah. So like. If you go in here, let's see what the... This is a, a two-game challenge. And the rewards were 5,000 GP. So it would be nice to get that 5,000 GP, but uh, I'm not able to do it. If you have under 25 games, do this one. If you have 26 to 50 games played, do this one. And every week now, we're going to be getting a new, uh, a new challenge here. This is the UEFA Champions League one. Let's see how many games this one is. This is a four four match one. The rewards should be a special agent spin for your first time, so you'll get a spin of the new agent, and uh, you get one thousand GP every time after that that you beat it. So the, these are just things you can do. You can play online if you want. You can play against the computer. You can mix it up and play both. It's kind of up to what what, what you want to do. Me personally, when I'm trying to get money each week to spin the special agents, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. I'll show you that the, the two things I farm right here. 
the things I farm are the novice challenge right here, which is a beginner game. And then after I, I finish the first novice challenge game, I go over to the team spirit challenge, which is another beginner game. And then once I beat the first game of that, I go back to novice, beat the first game of this, go back to team spirit, beat the first game of this, back and forth, back and forth. And the reason I do this is because on beginner difficulty, the first game, you can score a goal and then you can pass it back to the goalie and then just waste the rest of the time of the game. So that's, that's what I do to farm, to farm GP. That's how I get all that GP every week. Um, the second level or the second game of all of these challenges, if you score a goal and pass it back to the goalie, they'll actually come and take the ball away from you. That's why I just do the, the first game of the team spirit. And then I, I go to novice. I do the first game of the novice. I go back to the team spirit, first game of the team spirit, go back and forth, back and forth, one game each. So, so I can just score and then pass it back to the goalie. And then as, as the goalie has a ball, I just kill the rest of the clock. I can walk around the house, do whatever. And uh, it's, a, it's a quick way to, to farm GP. You get like 1800 per game. Uh, it is kind of slow, but uh, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. We'll go to the next screen right here. We got the squad management. Wait, what you want to basically do is you can make a couple teams here. Like I'll, I'll show you mine. I have like 10 squads laid out here because somebody in, in on PezFan wanted to know what was the max amount of squads I could build. So that's why I have 10, but I don't use eight of these. I just use these two right here. And I have one squad, it's for my best. So this is my best team, including the guys I got yesterday. You can see it shows 10 spirit because I went over with the, uh, so if, I, if I get rid of one of these guys, let's see. See, there you go. So, uh, what what you want to do is your your manager is in the top left corner, and he's got some total costs right there, and you see that before I had 284 as my cost, and out of 280, so that's why my my team spirit showed as like five. See, I I took out that one player, and now my my uh, it says I'm 280 out of 280 for the total cost of the manager. So now you can see my team spirit is 94, which is which is great, and. Uh, my team strength is 1692. Uh, what, what basically, the more you play and the more you get familiar with your manager, the higher your, your team spirit goes up. If, you're, if your team spirit's under like 75 or 80, then your team's going to play bad. So you have to keep on building up your team and getting your team spirit up. And the higher your, your team spirit, the better your team's going to play together. That's, that's basically the way it goes. I'll show you my team that I use for farming. You're going to see that the, the team spirit on this team is very, very low. So this team is very, very bad. So I, so I can't use this team against anybody else or any level a level of difficulty that's good. So this is basically just for farming those novice games I was talking about, those like novice cup and the team spirit challenge. So this is a 51 team spirit. So this team is really bad. But uh, all I do for this to, to gain my, my GP is I just use this this kind of team for the novice and the team spirit cups back and forth. And what happens when the when the contracts expire, I just replace them with some more some more white or bronze players. And it's just a continual cycle as I make GP. And uh, when when it comes to a time when a player is out of contracts, and he's bad. And he's like a white ball. This is what I do. I I click the I click X on him. And then I go convert into trainer. So you you have two options when a guy's out of. Or actually, you have three options if a guy's out of a contract. You can renew him, which I don't do because I just get rid of them. What you can also do is release them. You get a small amount of money. Or you can convert into a trainer, and that trainer is someone you can use to boost up one of your other players. So I think I have one guy in my trainer slot because I actually screwed up yesterday and I got rid of one of my, like my starting right back because 
I don't know how the hell I did it, but I was, I was trying to just get uh, change over to my, my farming team and somehow I got rid of my right back. So like when we're in this screen, we can go to, let's see, I'll just, I'll just go to Jordi Alba. You go to Trainer. See, so I, I have one guy that, that I have in here. Uh, after converting the Trainer, I had one guy I can use to put into the train whoever I want to uh, increase their stats of for my team. So I'll just use Jordi Alba as an example here. It shows him as 2206 is when his next level. So this is 552 plus from this 79 uh, uh, trainer. So basically this says that this is going to bump up Jordi Alba's stats, but it's not going to be enough to uh, to increase him another level. So he's still going to be level 39 but uh, let's just bump him up. Let's see how, see how to do this here. See, so his stats go up a bit. Nothing nothing changed because uh, he didn't go up and it was not enough uh, training points to go up to the next level. But uh, that's another thing you can do as you have your good players. Like say somebody spins a Messi when they start the game and then they start farming here and the player's contracts run up and you want to bring in new ones. You convert those guys into trainers and then use those trainers to bump up Messi's level to make him higher. And uh, so I'll show you the, let's see here. Here's the part where you get the agents and the scouts. Uh, the scout part right here, the first one, if you click into it, the top left corner is the sign a player thing. This is for the scouts. After every single game, you, you get a scout that has a, a file like a like a rating between one and five stars at the very top. So if you go into this screen, and you go into sign player, and you click on one of these slots. He, here's all my scouts. I got uh, three five star guys, which I'm saving, and the, these a whole bunch of four star guys, and we got a one and a two star. So basically, what these are for are when when your team. When you're when the guy on your team runs out of contracts and you convert him to a trainer, that's when you come into this list right here and you click on, like, I get rid of the guys three stars and under right here. And for these these guys, I'll I'll get to what to, what to, what to use these, get the four and five stars. I'll tell you what to do with these guys in a second. But when I, need, when I got rid of somebody to be a trainer for my team because they ran out of contracts and now I need to fill that spot, this is where I come. And I go to one or one, two or three star scouts. And what I just do is I click on it like this, negotiate request. I will just spin this guy. And just spin. So this gives us a new a new guy for our team. And what you would do is you would click on add to squad right here. And you could put him into the spot where the other people were, were taken out of the, the squad before. Or you can just add them, add them to your, your team in general. This is what I'm going to do, add to my club members. This just adds them to the, your team. He's not in the lineup or anything like that. Uh, what I do when I'm farming the Novice and Team Spirit Cups, I, I just put guys anywhere. If I, if I get a goalie and I have a left wing position available, I just put the goalie up there because it doesn't really matter. But if you're if you're playing higher difficulties, it does and you need higher team spirit, so you don't want to do that. But if you're just farming for GP like me because you want to save up to spin the special agents, which I'll show you in a second, if you want to do that, then if you want to save GP, you can put the guys anywhere. Put, put the goalie on, as, as your striker, put the goalie anywhere, it doesn't matter. But uh, if, if you want to get your team spirit up, do not do that. Don't play, don't play players out of position. Okay, let's go back here to the the next thing we can do is uh, search on the auction house. This is just a quick one. Uh, I put the grade to five earlier. So this just shows you all the five star scouts. They have a new option this year where you can buy stuff. You can buy scouts from the auction house by combine, and you can combine those scouts to get particular players. And But, the, but you, you cannot sell your scout on the auction house. The only thing you can do is sell it for like 300 GP. They don't give you whatever it would sell for. Like say I get a, a, a Manchester United five-star scout. If I sell him, 
I can't sell him for like 300000 like he would actually go for on the auction house. Konami just gives me a fixed amount of like 300 or 500 GP. So don't do that. If you get any agents, just spin them. But uh, so, so basically, here's the five-star agents. You can see the bidding for these are crazy. The five-star agent for like Real Madrid goes for like 300 or 400,000. So the price gets kind of kind of steep for these. If you guys want to see some additional information about how the auction house works, I have some auction house tip videos. I'd suggest like the most recent one if you want to know uh, the most up-to-date answers. But just a quick summary of what actually happens here. You'll see it says first round. So let's just click on this one right here. The first round is uh, until today. It's got 19 minutes left, as you see. Uh, let's see, the other ones have 29 minutes, 41 minutes. Okay, so 19 minutes left. So, so th this particular one, there's a first round of bidding. So there's 15 bids so far. So I'm not sure how many people have made those, those 15 bids. But say there's been five people and they went back and forth bidding, bidding, bidding. So now it's up to 50,000 GP. What happens here is when it says first round ending, if more than one person has bid on this, then the first round ends at that time right here in 19 minutes. And then at that point, the final round goes from today until the 23rd of September at 1124. So basically, you have to bid in the first round if you want something. And then once the bidding for the first round is done and your bid is in, you're going to be asked to do another bid. And it's, you're going to have to enter another amount in. And it's basically the other amount you enter in gets added to your first amount. So say say you bid, say I bid right now, say I bid 55000 on this thing right now and I entered my bid in here. So... It, when this thing ends in 18 minutes, it's going to say, okay, what what else do you want to bid? So don't bid 55000 again. What you're bidding for the final round is on top of this 55000 that I just bid right now. So say I want to, to increase it by 10000 more, so I had 65000 bid for this. Then for my final round, I would bid 10000 So don't bid 60000 again because you're going to be adding that onto your original bid. And the final round bidding is like uh, closed, like you, you you can't see other people's bids. So it's just kind of like you put your bid up and then the highest person gets it. And then I think after the thing is done, if it's on your watch list, you can see it and see who the top two, what the top two bids were in the end, just so you can know how much people ended up bidding for something that you wanted. But this whole thing is, is just way too expensive for my taste. Uh, if you want the, if you want the guys like Ronaldo and stuff like that, you're going to have to pay 300,000 per piece that you need for him. And to get Ronaldo, you need at least two pieces. Uh, if you check my agent, uh, my top 15 agent uh, combinations video, you're going to see which scouts you need to combine to to get the top 15 players in this game. But uh, I'm just going to back out right here. I'm going to show you some other thing they have here. This is the auction list. This is just for the, this is the, all of the scout numbers. This is like one star scouts all the way up to five star. Uh, as you see here, we got like a three star, three star, three star. If you click on the thing and go inside it and click X, it shows you a list of all the players that you can get with this particular agent. So if you get this three star chili agent, the highest you can get is a, a silver ball. That's what the the three-star agents are silver players. If you get a, uh, a four-star agent, you can get gold players. If you get a five-star agent, you can get black black ball players. You can't get a black ball player from a silver agent. So keep that in mind. I know there's lots of people when this game first came out, they were bidding on like one and two-star agents for like 80,000 GP. And I, I'm pretty sure it's because they, they thought that they could get who they, like the black balls they wanted with the with the one and two star scouts, but they can't. So don't don't be bidding crazy amounts for these one and two star scouts, unless you're looking for uh, like particular bronze players or something like that. But uh, let's go back out here. Once again, if you need any auction house tips, I have an auction house tips video that goes into this more in depth. But the last thing I'm gonna show you with this auction house thing is you can combine players to kind of uh, see see what you can get if you spin it. I'll show you for, for an example here. 
I'll click on my five star lofted pass. Say I, I was wondering what I could get with this five star lofted pass. I can click on this right here and bring it up. So it gives me this list of players here plus 907 others. What I can also do is I can go down here and I can add another one of my, my things. So say I just add Europe, five star Europe. Okay, so this is this list plus 569 others. So you'll see, you'll see the list gets smaller and smaller as I add, add more guys in here. So say I just add one more. Let's go left leg. See, I added a four star scout there. So now I can just get gold ball. This is my best. So let's just back these out. That just shows you how to how, how you can add scouts to here to narrow it down. And one of the other thing you can do is say you can also plan who you want to get this way. So let's say I I'm like, what, what would happen if I got uh, a five star Real Madrid? So you have to click X for the simulation. Add a scout. I'm gonna add a five star scout. Let's go to Real Madrid. Let's say I got a Real Madrid five star scout, and let's say I got a five star position left wing. So see, the only guy you can get from this is Ronaldo. That's why this five star MD White, which is Real Madrid, that's why that goes for like three or four hundred thousand, and the left wing forward five star goes for like three or four hundred thousand because you can get combine those two and get Ronaldo. And and if it's the only one showing right here, like Ronaldo is, that means that if you if you get these two and spin it, you have a one hundred percent chance against Ronaldo. So, so this is just a, a way to add things to this simulation thing here and just see who you can get, H how you can make that list smaller. And uh, if you check my uh, my top 15 overall players, the combination video, I, I show you the combinations to use to get the top 15 players to break to break it down to uh, either like a 50 or 100 percent chance of getting those top 15 players. But the only problem is you have to have enough GP to actually afford these scouts. So it's cool that you can do these scout combinations, but unless you have 500 GP that you want to blow on one of these players, you're probably not going to get him. So it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to buy those big, those save up and get those big players, that, that's your, it's up to you. But me personally, I just like to save up my GP and then just blow it on these special agents and hopefully something good comes out of it. The next option we have is top agents. This is available all the time. This is, uh, you get an agent, either a forward, a midfield, a D, or a goalkeeper. <clears throat> it shows you on the right the the amount of black balls in here, the amount of gold balls in this particular agent, uh, the amount of silvers. So in this one, there's 400 silvers, 95 gold balls, and 27 black. So if we spin this, we have a 2.8% chance of getting a black. Last year, a black was 80 plus overall, but this year it's changed and a black ball is now 85% and, and 85 overall and above. So that's why it's 2.8% of a success rate to get that because you have a 27 out of whatever that is, 530, 520 something. Yeah, so you got 2.8% chance to get a black ball. This is 2.8 as well, 2.8. Yeah, so they're all 2.8. So th this is an agent that's always here. Uh, people don't usually spin this one. They usually spin the special agent that comes every Thursday. But this is just something you can do if you're looking to uh, spend some money to try to get some new players. Of course, if you click Y, it shows you like the, the, the players you can get with this agent. Here's a list. I'll show you the special agent that comes every Thursday. It's right here. It comes after the maintenance. Uh, We'll go inside this one. This is the one that I span. I span. I span a word. <laughs> I spun, spun 30 of this, 32 of this yesterday, and uh, my results were so-so. But uh, here's the UEFA Champions League uh, agent from last night. Uh, has a 4.1% chance of hitting black ball. I got one black ball out of this agent, and uh, one black ball in 32 spins, which is not very good. But uh, this uh, these are the agents that come once a week uh, after maintenance, and uh, I think next week it's going to be the Barcelona Legends agent. So that should be interesting. But uh, yeah, so every week this this changes. So as this as the season goes on, there's going to be like better agents offered, and there's going to be agents offered with higher black ball percent. 
I know last year, uh, as, as the season went on, they had like uh, black ball agents that were like 50%. And they had black ball agents that were 100%. Uh, black ball agents that were like 80%, stuff like that. Just the like a, a, as the season goes on more, you have a higher chance of getting a black ball from this. Because the black balls are just 85 and up now, I'm not sure what percent this will ever get to for black ball players, but it's going to go up from the 4.1% it is now. So if, if you really want to wait, you can wait like a couple months and then you're, the black ball percents will come up. But if you're impatient like me and you want to have a team and play it right now, then I guess you can just spin it right now and uh, see what you get with this agent. Or you can save it for next week's and save it for the Barcelona Legends agent. It's up to you what you want to do. But uh, I prefer to do these spins as opposed to just going to the auction house and trying to combine scouts to get who I want. This is kind of like a the gambling uh, part of me that likes to just not know who you're going to get and uh, just kind of spin the ball and see what happens. That, that, that's the way I like to play it. But... Uh, that's a good way to, that, that's a good video to help you get started if you're not sure where to get started with my club here. Uh, it, it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to play online, if you want to play against a computer, if you want to do the sim games, it's up to you. It's up to you. So what I, what I do personally is I, I, I farm the Novice Cup and the Team Spirit Cup or Team Spirit Challenge. I just go back and forth, build up GP. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Starting right now, you see I have 5,000 GP at the top there. I had 300,000 something yesterday, and I blew it all on this uh, Champions League agent. But uh, I'm going to build it back up, so I'll have 250,000 GP by next Thursday for the Barcelona Legends agent. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm just farming up GP right now so I can keep on doing spins and then build up my team that way. Uh, there's people that... Don't like doing that they just want to play with who they have they like to play with low level teams which with like bronze or silver players uh so it, it, it's up to you like the approach you want to take uh, you can play this any way you want uh if you guys have any questions put them down below i'll answer them i answer all my comments i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped you if you're unsure how to start my club i hope this helped put a like down below if it did Hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll be back with some more videos later tonight probably. Hope you guys have a great night. See you soon.